And Charlie, as Richard and I stand here observing, would you introduce his new opponent, please? Well, Bill, she's a student whose interest includes scuba diving and boating, Heidi Hockman. <laughs> Hello, Heidi. Welcome. Hi, Bill. Happy to have you. What are you studying? I'm studying maritime policy. And whereabouts? At uh, University of Southern California. And what is it you want to do eventually, I mean, when you get into the business world? Well, port, uh, working in a port, port management, actually. That sounds very... Port captains, they call those people, too, do they not, at one Indeed. time? Indeed. Harbor We're, masters. Uh-huh. We're happy to have you with us, Heidi. You Thank and Richie, you. of course, uh, have met. And let me give both of you a chance to look at the categories we'll be playing with. They are famous lovers capital cities, television, literature, and finally stumpers, where you have a chance to double your money. Their show's missed on a previous show. All ready to go, Heidi. Good luck and spin away. Go, Joker. There's a Joker, there's stumpers, and literature choice. Bill, I'll go for literature for 100. Now, the 1948 novel, The Naked and the Dead, Heidi, was a realistic account of army life during World War II. Many critics consider it the finest novel ever written about that war. For a hundred dollars to start you off, the author was Norman Who. Do not help. I'm sorry. Time is up, Richard. The author was Norman Who. Mailer. Norman Mailer is the right answer, and you have a hundred dollars. You have a spin, Richard. Yes, I do. Come on, Joker. Richard has a Joker, and Richard has a Joker. Richard has a Joker again. Twice. Twice. Uh, in a row. I don't think that has ever happened like that. I know it hasn't. You now have you now have this game one. If you pick a question, uh, pick a category, I'll pick the question on top, answer it, and you have game number two and a thousand dollars, Richard. All right, Bill, I'll take literature. He's taking literature. And if Richard answers this correctly, it's two games in a row won by three jokers what a spinner you are here's your question literature is the category this 1874 novel by thomas hardy was probably his most successful work it told the story of bathsheba everdeen and her relationships with three different suitors for the game complete the book's title far from the madding what Crowd. That's it. You're a champion. You have one thousand dollars. I have no idea. <laughs> now, Helen, uh, Heidi, before you leave us, I want to say that was an unusual thing that happened to you, and we're very sorry it did happen that way. Uh, but I do hope you succeed as a, a job as a port. I say port captain and harbor master. And what are some of the other type? Uh, titles they have for that uh, work. Port director, there's uh, various capacities that you can work in a port in. It sounds like a very interesting job, and I, I sort of think you have a good idea in going for it. We thank, thank you. you. Heidi Hawkman, is that it? Yes. We sir. have some nice consolation. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Well, Heidi, Richard has done that to two opponents in a row. Richard, we're going to give you a chance to come up against that guy who can do it to you. The way you're going, I don't know if he will, but right now we have a word for the folks at home. Just a bit of information for you. This is the last show of our current season. During the upcoming weeks, you're going to see some uh, choice uh, shows of the past year. So stay with us and continue watching if you will. And right now, we have a yeah. very lucky fellow over there. So uh, are you ready to see if you're still lucky? I'm ready. Come on over, Richard Scheiber. Going to give you another chance against the... <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm doing very well by all the I said to him, how are you doing? And he said, it's nice to be back. You are not only back, you are back in a hurry. Yes, I am. I don't think, amazing. I don't know, but since I've been doing the show, this is the, my second season, nobody ever has gotten the three Jokers twice in a row like that, I guess, at least not to my knowledge. First time for me, too, yeah. I, I believe so, yeah, that, yeah. yes. I, <laughs> I believe that, I really do. Uh, you know what happens. You can still stop yeah. at any time and take the money, go all the way through, you get all that money, $1,000, maybe more. And Charlie O'Donnell, tell him what else. Well, Richard, you'll truly enjoy conducting business at home with these four gifts. First, Richard, when clients visit, offer them a seat in this stylish armchair. A recliner rocker chair from Lazy Boy Chair Company. Enjoy genuine Lazy Boy quality and comfort as you rock or recline. 
relax. It's from Lazy Boy. Then, while you're taking care of business, you won't be interrupted by phone calls when you turn on this answering machine. From MCE Quality Electronic Products, a speakeasy supreme cordless phone with memory dialing and a dual cassette answering machine with beeperless remote and call screening from MCE. Next, correspondence will be a breeze with the help of this efficient electronic typewriter. From Casio, the computer-compatible CW30 personal electronic typewriter. With scores of functions to make any typing job a pleasure. It's perfect for home, school, or office. And finally, Richard, place that answering machine and typewriter on this gift. Worth more than $1,600. This magnificent oak wall unit with roll-top desk. This oak modular shelving system from Merrillat uses kitchen cabinets with a roll-top desk for a functional work-study area. Merrillat Industries, America's cabinet maker. This home office package is worth, in cash and prizes over, $3,750. I'll oh, say hi to my dogs if they get a chance. Well, right. $3,750 added to the $1,000. Okay, give it a spin. We want to start yeah. right in. Okay, let's go. Rich's first spin, he has 25, 225, $325. Decision again. Oh, yeah, we're going again. Going again. He says yes. 425, 475, 525. That's it. All right. Go again. Go again. The audience says yes, he wins. 525, 575, $600, $700, I believe. Let's see what's up there. Yep. $700. Almost there. Almost there. Go, go. Okay. Seven hundred dollars, eight fifty, eight seventy-five, nine hundred bucks. You're a hundred away. One way or another, this would do it. I or you can stop. I gotta go. No, I gotta go. So, gotta go. He says he gotta go one way or the other. It has to do it. Nine, ten, ten, twenty-five. It is indeed your day. You're the ones who told him to keep... Hold your hand. you got money coming. W count along. One hundred. Two. Three. Eleven hundred fifty. Eleven hundred fifty-five. Eleven hundred and seventy-five. Plus the recliner. The answer phone, the typewriter, the uh, shelf system, and the roll-top desk. Total winnings, four thousand eight hundred and twenty-five bucks. Congratulations! Hey, thank you, Jim. Richard. Thanks thank you. you. We'll be back right after these words for you. Butter. Richard is back here. I brought him back over because he wanted to t tell him what you want to do. You want to say something. Well, I want to say hello to two of my special friends who are at home watching. And who are, what are these special friends? Uh, one is a mixed breed terrier and the other is a Dachshund Pomeranian cross. Their names are Rags and Andrew. I have a little message for them. Oh. Okay, boys, after the show, finish your homework, brush your teeth, and straight to bed. <laughs> well, the name's Rags and Andrew. Rags and Andrew. You heard him, Rags and Andrew. Do just that. Hey, Richard, it's been fun. During the upcoming weeks, friends, you're going to see some of the choice shows of this past season. I want to say a personal note. It's been a pleasure being the host of the Joker's Wild again this season. And on behalf of all of us here at Joker's Wild, we thank you, especially you in the studio. And for that matter, you at home. Thank you very much. Have a good year. We'll see you around. Bye-bye. See you around. Bye-bye. Thank you. Some of our departing contestants will receive from Hawaiian Tropic comes this luxurious beach towel. Plus, Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Aloha! And the more you hear, the more you read, the more you ask your doctor, you'll know why Bayer is the wonder drug that works wonders. Canned pastas come out in one lump. Introducing Ragu Pasta Meals, fresh taste you don't get from a can. Well, that's different from the other ones. If cleaning the toilet bullies you, bully your bowl with Swish. Thick Swish cleans as it coats and smells fresh. Bully your bowl with Swish.
Joke is Wild is a Jack Perry and Dan Enright production. Stay with Channel 9 for a double dose of morning magic. At 11.30, it's laughter at the blink of an eye with Barbara Eden in Bewitched. The first fall under a spell with Samantha, Darren, and Endora in Bewitched coming up next.